So in terms of how the chest x-ray is taken, does anyone know how people take a chest x-ray film? So in terms of the radiographer, how they actually take the picture? PA. Yeah, so do anyone know what the difference is between PA and AP? Okay, so what does PA stand for? Posterior to anterior. Yeah, and anterior to posterior. Yeah, fantastic. So th this is actually fairly important in terms of knowing why certain things appear the way they do. So a PA film, as you said, is posterior or anterior. Um, so you have an, an X-ray source, and you have a detector, which is where the little picture of the um, actual chest X-ray is. And in between, you stand the patient. So when it's PA, the source is behind, and the detector is in front. So they shine a beam kind of through the patient and it will land on there. With an AP, it's the other way around. And you essentially have the source in front and the air detector behind. AP films can be done standing, sitting, lying down, whereas PA films have to be done standing up. And the patient, essentially, I don't know if any of you have seen photos of this, but they kind of hug, they hug the detector. And this moves their scapulae out of the way, so you get a clearer image of the thorax. Um, so this is something called radio dent density, and I think in third year you have a lecture, which you probably haven't had yet, um, but they talk about the Hansfield scale. Has anyone heard of that? So the Hansfield scale is essentially a way of assigning a value or measuring density, but it's a fairly simple com concept. So something that is less dense, like air, will show up as black, um, and something that is more dense, like bone or metal, will show up as white. Um, and that's because of the absorption of, by the tissues. Um, so the denser something is, the less beams you get going through it, and the whiter it appears.